This is the Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus podcast, and I'm your host, Marsha Ogden. It's lovely to have you here. This podcast is definitely for you if, like me, you're over 50, but again, like me, you're not done yet. Once a week, we'll have a chat about topics that are dear to our hearts as we hurtle towards things like retirement, empty nesting, staying healthy, downsizing. Oh, the list goes on. But all the vocabulary and references will be stuff that we relate to. It'll be a mix of education, inspiration and humour with a dollop of seriousness. Sometimes I'll have guests, sometimes I'll offer freebies or offers, and sometimes you'll just have to put up with little old moi. Here's a word from our sponsor. The Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus podcast is very happy to be sponsored by Organic Secrets UK Limited. With a mission to spread the word about natural relief from mental and physical conditions that stop us from living our best life, Organic Secrets is an online supplier of high-quality CBD and supplements. Hop over to www.organicsecrets.co.uk right after this podcast. There's also a link in the show notes. Hello and welcome to episode 56. Continuing with the new format of concentrating on one particular letter of the alphabet, this week we're all about the letter B. And the episode is called Breaking Bad Habits. With a little shout out to B for Books too. So far we've had two shots at the letter A. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Tarek Qureshi last week. And that shocker at the end when he told us what the bit of bother was that he got into. Oh, bit of bother. See, the B theme. Blending in perfectly. Oh, it's like I planned it. If you didn't listen to that episode... Go back to it after this one. Don't forget to enter our selection box competition. Here's how you can win. If you're not already listening on Apple Podcasts or on YouTube, please, please, please go over there at the end of this episode and rate, review and subscribe to the podcast. Tell your friends too. And that's all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning. I'll be looking at the reviews writing down the names of the reviewers and commenters and putting them into a hat. And I'll draw a name out and that person will be the proud owner of one of the Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus selection boxes. There'll be two chances to win, one at the end of June and one at the end of July. The more listeners we have, the more of a community we can build together and the more popular the podcast becomes, the more it gets distributed by the technology. Now, what's in the selection box? Well, it'll be a selection, obviously, of gifts, at least four in each box. There'll be something from me, something from Organic Secrets, our sponsor, possibly a voucher and who knows what else. I'm still gathering in prizes. It will be a lovely gift to either help you through the rest of lockdown or to congratulate you on getting through lockdown wherever we happen to be at the end of June and the end of July. Now, a quick B for Books mention. One of the two selection boxes will include a very prettily packaged copy of Caroline James' new book, Hattie Goes to Hollywood. You may remember Caroline. She was my guest in episode 24. Who is Bertie Bear? Mm, More bees. That episode was Caroline's own inspirational story about how, at age 50, she made the decision to follow her life's dream of becoming a published author. I'll put a link in the show notes, but here's a message from the lady herself. Hi Marsha, it's Caroline James here. I'm an author of seven books, um, several of them are bestsellers. And I'm delighted to give you a copy of my latest book, which is called Hattie Goes to Hollywood. And that's to be included in your lovely prize draw and selection box, which you're running. I am 
featured in Directory of a Dream My 50 Plus podcast in episode number 24, when I was really happy to talk to Marsha about my life as an author and a life-changing decision that I made in my mid-50s and I've never ever regretted. So just want to say happy reading everybody. I hope you enjoy your lovely selection box to the lucky winner and happy Hattie Goes to Hollywood. Yep, that's my latest book. I write romantic comedy and lots of love from me, Caroline James. Fantastic. Now, breaking bad habits. Who here has got a bad habit? Go on, on up. Mm, I can see a lot of hands up. I thought it qualified as a good topic for this episode because A, it begins with B. (laughs) And if you've joined us only recently, you might not be aware that my own journey to the new improved me in my mid-50s came about as a result of discovering that without too much effort, I actually broke a very big, very bad habit. And in doing so, I improved my life 1000%. I know, I know, a thousand percent isn't possible, but that's how it feels. I also think it's relevant because I know that since lockdown began, we've all had to change our routine. And in doing that, perhaps you've realised that you had, or you've recently developed, habits or situations that you'd really rather be without. Which is good, because being aware of our weaknesses is the first step to resolving them, if we want to. If we believe we can. And that's the top and bottom of it. Because as we get older, we become stuck around certain ideas, habits or behaviours, whether they serve us or not. We tend to think that that's just the way we are. It's too late to change. But it isn't. As I said earlier, From experience, I know that we can become unstuck if we want to. Now, this isn't one of those motivational platitudes. I speak from the experience of moving from being a heavy drinker to teetotal in just eight days. Once I'd accepted that there was another way of approaching life. The secret is, to start questioning why we do things, rather than just accepting the situation. Here are some of the questions I started asking myself. Am I enjoying it? Not particularly. A lot of wine tastes like vinegar. Or worse. Is someone making me drink it? No, absolutely not. Can I afford to drink it every day of the week like I do? Again, no, absolutely not. My credit cards were testament to that. Do I do it to get bladdered, hammered, as they say, or just plain drunk? No, I hated anyone insinuating that I was drunk. Do I have a lot of problems in my life? No. Do I have a lot to celebrate? Well, yes, if I'm being truly grateful about what I've got, but not in a way, let's party kind of way. So why the heck are you drinking? The only answer I could come up with was, well, it's just habit. It's what I do when I socialise, when I watch TV, when I'm cooking the dinner, even when I'm working from home, because I can. And with the normalising of drinking on social media and in TV programmes, I'm only doing what everyone else does. But I wished that I didn't drink. Although I couldn't imagine a life without wine, I had been stuck. And now I'm not. Do you know, I actually celebrated my three-year alcohol-free anniversary on Thursday of this week, three days ago. Oh, celebrated with non-alcoholic Prosecco, of course. This isn't a lecture about not drinking. This is telling you the process that I went through. And what I decided was, we just don't ask ourselves enough questions. 
We just do it. Your brain will believe what you tell it to believe. Telling it that, oh, I need that chocolate cake. I need a coffee to get me going in the morning. Will make your brain believe that that's a fact. So I would love to help you to come away from this podcast with at least the belief that change is possible and an idea of the steps to take going forward. So let's start with those three little words. Breaking bad habits. What does it mean? Well, breaking, interrupting the pattern, not necessarily stopping. I mean, in this context, it means being sufficiently in control to be able to break the pattern. Bad. What's bad? Bad in what way? Is your habit bad for health? Bad for your finances? Bad for your peace of mind? And what is a habit? It's a repetitive action. An action that gets repeated in a particular situation. The dictionary definition is A settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. Your habit might be something big and obvious with serious consequences, like gambling, drinking too much or being a shopaholic. It might be something small that just irritates the heck out of you, like the way you always back down to keep the peace. Or the way you always reach out for a bag of crisps when you're watching TV in the evening. It might be a habit that's just grown from a grudge, say, a spat with a neighbour six years ago, which makes things very awkward every time you leave your house. There are habits and situations that have developed because we've allowed them to develop. Because it's easy. No self-discipline required. No need to face up to an awkward situation if you can avoid it. Bad habits are personal and the things that we know, if we could eliminate them, our life would be that bit rosier. But we think there's no way out because we're too long in the tooth or it's gone on too long. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So if it's easier to stick with it and suffer the consequences of our continued bad habits, why bother trying to change? The answer to that one is because surely our personal goal is to live as happy a life as possible. A life where restrictions are as few as possible. Where we are in control of what goes on in our head rather than believing the party line that we are too old to change or that it's somebody else's fault. Since I realised that your mind controls everything you do, And it's not your education or your past or your upbringing or your bad luck or anything else. It's down to you and how you think. So since I accepted that, it kind of hurts me to hear friends of a similar age making statements like, oh, well, yeah, it's all right for you. This is as good as it gets for me. And I'm not even here talking about achieving ambitions or moving across the world or having your dream house or any other materialistic goal. Although there's no reason why we should rule them out either, but that's another story. Breaking bad habits is just about living your best life. And that is the one in your head. Before I searched and found a different way of thinking, which is a way that's alien to my upbringing and probably yours as well, I would not have believed that getting rid of a long ingrained habit could be possible. And it certainly didn't take strong willpower. I know that because I haven't got any. It's just about having the conviction to acknowledge what's bugging you and honestly answering obvious questions about why you're in that situation. Sometimes we really do just need someone to state the bleeding obvious, sorry. And that person can be you. It is uncomfortable. However, I'm going to put in the show notes a discount link and a Kindle link to the My Best Life journal, 
which I published last year, because everything sticks more when it's written down. Basically, my best life journal is a step-by-step plan to begin the journey to making your life that bit easier or happier. It won't happen overnight, but slow progress is better than no progress. And my best life journal was created to help you question what you're happy with and what you're not happy with. Plan your ideal situation and track your progress along the journey. And that's it, really. You have to acknowledge that change is possible. You have to be aware of what you'd like to do differently. Plan and track your journey. And measure it in teeny tiny steps. It's not easy discovering that you're the one who's been holding you back the whole time. And the coronavirus lockdown has forced us to change our ways, change our routine. Proving that change is possible. Take a look at the link in the show notes. Next week's Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus podcast will be brought to you by the letter C. Look out for more detail on our Facebook page and Instagram. Keep ahead of the game by joining our community. Go to our website at www.directoryofourdreamlife.com and click the button. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, share and review. Do join us again next week for another episode. The Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus podcast is brought to you by our sponsor, Organic Secrets UK Limited. Learn more at www.organicsecrets.co.uk And if you enjoyed today's show, catch up on all episodes at www.directoryofadreamlife.com Don't forget to subscribe, rate and give us a review wherever you catch this podcast. Have a wonderful week.